Hello, this is Miss Pezzle showing you another musictheory.net tutorial. This is about the scale identification exercise. Um, and it's really handy to have out your circle of fifths if you don't have your scales memorized. I'm showing you with my circle of fifths to show you how you can use your tools to help you. So first, as always, we start with our clef. If this is the correct one for my instrument, cool. If it's not, you can either change it uh, by going up here to the settings and changing the clef, or if you want to add an extra challenge, you can try other clefs. Um, we use these in orchestra, this for piano, and uh, below are some other ones that we don't really use in orchestra. I'm gonna stick with treble clef. You can also change some of your other options like the type of scales that you hear. Um, depending on what grade or class of mine that you're in and the time of year, um, the number of scales that you've learned may differ than what's here, but I'm just gonna stick with major and natural minor. So you can also change your key signatures. Uh, these are the key signatures we would have learned up until uh, the middle of the year about in Intermediate Orchestra. Um, if you want a challenge, you can click on all of them. Uh, just so it's not crazy complicated for the video, I'm just going to have up to three sharps and flats. Um, and that's pretty much it. So I exit out of my settings. Unfortunately, the scale changed, but that's alright. So here I see it starts and ends on D. It's a big indicator that it is some type of D scale. So now I'm looking... Okay, what are my accidentals? F sharp and C sharp. So let's find D major here. All right, let's start with D minor. So on the inner circle here are minor keys. The outest, I guess the middle outer circle is major keys. And the most outer circle is the key signatures. So I'm gonna look at D minor. I know it's, it starts and ends on D, so it's some sort of D scale. Uh, and that key signature has one flat. I don't see any flats here, so no, that can't be right. So now I'm going to go to the major side of things, find D. Oh, two sharps. If I use my order of the sharps, silly saying, fat cats go down alleys eating bananas, otherwise known as the order of the sharps, I know that that's fat cats. Oh look, F sharp, C sharp. That must be D major. If it's green, oh, I forgot it plays it. If it's green, good to go. Now here, starts and ends on D. Hmm, well, we just had D major and that had sharps. So this has to be D minor. I go to my circle of fists, double check. D, one flat, Ooh, one flat, natural minor. Then you can actually hear the difference. Now here say, I think, oh, this is major. I look at C and I think, oh yeah, there's no key signature, that's right. New. Here it's a 50-50 chance, but the red means I need to try again. I can see that that's natural minor now. But if I wanted to double check, I have three flats here. E flat, A flat, B flat. Let's check out uh, the minor version of C. Ooh, it has three flats. So just double checking. There we go. If you have any questions or concerns about how to use this scale identification exercise on musictheory.net, uh, feel free to either comment on the YouTube video or reach out to me. And if you're my student, you see me every day. So have a wonderful day, guys, and see you soon.